Wild Tube. Today we have Plato's Symposium. And if you want to buy this awesome book, I have an affiliate link down below. Click on it. You get an awesome book. I get a small commission. And eventually that small commission will add up to a bigger commission that I can use to put towards books or better equipment or whatever. So, I'm going to do my best. This is not easy. Uh, if you are a college student and you're hoping that I'm going to make you pass a an essay or a, a, a test on Plato's Symposium, you're in the wrong spot. All right. I am a simpleton. I am not a, I'm not a philosophy scholar. This is just my thoughts on this book. As the, the, the dog decides to bring a bone in here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Take that somewhere else. Go. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> it's like, you jerk. So, this book is all about love. Um, there's a dinner party, which Socrates shows up too late. Um, I, I guess he actually showed up uh, clean, um, like, actually took a bath, which I guess Socrates wasn't really known for. Um, I guess he was a dirty, dirty old man. Um, but I, I guess he actually kind of spiffied up for this event. And the the people, after, because they've been nursing hangovers all day, decided they didn't really want to drink. So they, they thought they would uh, sit around and tell stories, or not maybe not necessarily stories, but try to one-up one up each other on a topic and the topic is love uh, what is love and i'm not going to attempt to remember who said what and whatever but i will just try to give a gist of what was discussed so like the first guy is like uh, love is a virtue which is beautiful and poetic but what does that mean i don't know don't ask me <clears throat> the next guy or another guy uh, he was a, like a doctor, and he's like, I love being a doctor, so that is love. Loving your profession, I guess, or whatever. And, and everyone's like, oh, ho, 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 ho. And another person, I forget, he compared love to, between two different things. And one was, I remember the one was being like, man, uh, love between men and men. Now, back then, I guess it was very common for like an older man man and a younger man i i'm gonna say man i don't know how young the man could be different times um they hooked up and i guess like the older man was kind of like a mentor per se and I, I don't know i don't know a lot about the history of um the greeks and the romans athenians um and everyone's like, oh. Um, eventually, it comes around to Plato, and Plato does Plato things. <laughs> he basically says, you all are a bunch of idiots. You don't know. You have not been discussing what love is. You've been more or less discussing types of love, but you're not, you're at the root of it, you're not saying what love actually is. And, of course, uh, Plato... Um, I, I guess uh, Plato is kind of describes love as being the want of something to be forever yours, I guess would be a way of putting it. <clears throat> and then this drunk, uh, this drunk guy, uh, <laughs> um, Agathon maybe, Achillabates, I don't remember who it was. Might have been all of them. Apparently this drunk guy uh, <laughs> comes forward and um, kind of talks about him trying to pursue Socrates as a lover. And Socrates is basically like just indifferent about it. Like he, I don't know if he necessarily doesn't want anything to do with this guy. Or if he just has his mind on, on other things, or if he's not into that, or whatever. I don't know. 
but it's funny like the it basically ends on this drunk guy ruining the discussion talking about how he was kind of courting socrates and socrates just he just could not you know be, he could not get socrates to give him the love and attention that he so desired from this man and it just um I, i'm sure i did a absolutely horrendous job describing this book i, I just don't think any of these Plato books, I don't think you could just read once and be like, oh, yes, this is exactly what the book is. And especially if you're a simpleton like me. But I bet you even, even people that are studying this stuff, I'm sure it takes some, some thought, some contemplations, multiple reads and things. I'm just a schmuck who likes to talk about the books he read on the YouTubes. And for some reason, I've just been fascinated with Plato for the last little while, so... There's more Play-Doh to come. Uh, there's uh, a Play-Doh playlist down below if you want to hear some more of my thoughts on Play-Doh. I did a, a video on the five dialogues and Beto or something. I don't remember what now. So there's a couple, a couple more uh, Play-Doh videos and a lot more to come. Uh, I believe that's it for this one, peeps. Let me know down below what I got right, what I got wrong. What do you think of Play-Doh? What did you think of Symposium? It, I kind of got the impression that this was kind of one of the um, one of the more beloved, stronger pieces. Honestly, it didn't do a whole lot for me. I just thought the ending part where the dude was like confessing his love to Socrates was funny. Um, I kind of liked also how um, it, it seemed like everyone was really supportive until it was socrates time to talk and then socrates did socrates things and <laughs> um kind of kind of ruined it um that's how i'm reading it anyway like i'm reading it as if socrates is a great mo i, I kind of reading it as socrates is sheldon cooper off of big bang theory where he's a he's a brilliant man but he just has zero people skills and just rose people the wrong way i could be completely wrong in reading uh socrates um, or Plato, or however you, however you want to say it. I could be completely wrong with how I am reading it. However, if you read it that way, it's a lot of fun. And that's the only reason why I'm able to continue. Because a lot of this stuff is pretty dry, for me at least. Um, but just reading it as if Socrates is Sheldon off of Big Bang Theory, it's a lot of fun. So, that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.